There's a new pioneer story just out in theaters from the man behind 17 Miracles, and once again, it's loaded with lessons for life. In fact, T.C. Christensen says so many amazing things happened to Ephraim Hanks, he just had to tell the story of the man who helped rescue the cold, starving Martin Handcart Company. It's Ephraim's rescue. You and God have rescued us. For this, you'll be known for generations. One of the great things about Ephraim's life is that throughout his life, as he keeps coming to crossroads, he makes wise decisions over and over. The story of Ephraim Hanks is one of those incredible pioneer tales where we can learn many life lessons. Exercising your gifts and magnifying gifts. He learned early on in his life that he had the gift of healing to a great degree. And he proved his resilience time and time again. There was an account in one of the books about Ephraim that a rattlesnake came and crawled right up on him and went over his face. Well, I thought, well, how am I going to do that? And I'd figured it out. The snake trainer told TC he could remove the snake's poison, so no worries there. But it was difficult filming in harsh conditions over the course of two years. We did do a winter river crossing. Everyone in the water has on either a dry or a wetsuit. Even so, after being in that water for four hours or five hours, it's cold. There's a great moment in his life when Brigham Young is calling for volunteers to go and help with these beleaguered uh, handcart pioneers. And he's asking who can go and bring in the saints. And, you know, some man raised his hand and said, well, I can go get my wagon ready. I'll do this and I'll be ready on Thursday. And somebody else says, well, you know, on Saturday I'll be done with this and this and I'll be ready. Ephraim Hanks raised his hand and said, I am ready now. That's really a, a, a message for the ages. You know, that he lived his life in a way that he was ready when Brigham or whoever called him, he wanted to be ready to go and do whatever it was he was asked. I think my favorite scene of the movie is the climax of the movie. You have faith in the Savior, that he has all power. I do. I do. <laughs> Ephraim has spent his life being ready for this moment. And by the time Ephraim is an older man, he's lived a life of wise decisions. That puts him in a place where he's worthy of having a film made about him. At least half of the extras used in the film were descendants of Ephraim Hanks. The others also had a pioneer heritage and were excited to pay homage to their ancestors. Last month